Right, this time I want to show you so much of what I do depends on how the paint responds to the methods. So I have to really consider what's happening. For instance, on these, which is collage work, which is then painted or left in these lovely white states. And this is just on paper that's been stretched. Very good quality watercolour paper, 600 GSM. This is the image before it's painted, when you get all these lovely subtle colours from the threads and papers are used. And then, of course, you can paint it. And the idea is that the paint is absorbed by the threads and the papers depending on the absorbency and the responsiveness of the papers and threads. So threads will pick up colour and papers will pick up colour. And colour gets stuck in all the grooves. And of course, if you use acrylic on this, it doesn't have the responsiveness as watercolour. Because watercolour, the pigment is absorbed, it's so sensitive to the papers used. So it would be absorbed depending on the qualities of each of the papers that I've applied. However, watercolour isn't very light fast. So I will use flow medium with acrylics. I will make sure that they are dilute enough to be responsive to the attributes of the papers. This one's a lovely example of how the paints are absorbed so beautifully. So there's a lovely sensitive response to the most delicate of colours as it gets stuck into the corners and to the grooves of the image. And for instance here I've got different papers stuck onto the 600 GSM watercolour paper. But that, say, is a Fabriano paper used for printing, so it's very cotton-rich and is therefore very absorbent. I've got tissue paper stuck at the back, and again, that has a lovely effect where the paints get stuck in the grooves. 